All right, so since you like text effects so much, the ones made with Giuseppe, of course, I decided to create one that I have seen on a website and it was quite interesting also because of the font they used in the creation of the text but also the effect that it has on scroll so i said let me try let's see if i can do this i think it's such a cool and simple effect at the same time and kind of i managed to achieve that but not really i mean the idea is there but I think it's still very cool and very useful, so let's get into it. All right, so this is going to be pretty quick. So I am just going to explain to you what I did on this. Let's get into it. So I have two containers, top and bottom, between that are sitting at the top and at the uh, bottom of the effect. So we have space for scrolling. So the containers, they both have a minimum height of 100 VH and full width. This doesn't matter, but just keep in mind that this effect works only if you have enough space to scroll. So it should not be at the top of the page on the hero section, for sure not. All right, so this is the container where we have our heading, okay? So this doesn't matter. This is how you set it. Also the font size and everything. So my container is full width 76% and minimum height 100 VH. So uh, if I go to the heading, you will see that this is an H1 and I have set it to be 4.8 REM. This is a, it's a custom font and that's it. Nothing else. Let's go to our container where we have the code and let's just have a quick glance here. So let me just fix it because I had other things at the top. So the only thing that you have to change here is going to be the, the HTML tag for the heading. So it's going to be an H1 if the heading is an H1. Otherwise, you have to change it. Whatever it is, you have to change it whatever you see H1 here. So it's here and here. As I remember, that's it, right? So nothing else unless you want to change the easing you can do that as well and if you want to change the start and end you can adjust this from here and also you can play around with the scrub animation so let's publish and let's go to see how it looks okay so all right and it ends here which is perfect because this is where our text actually makes sense to end right at kind of the center and you can adjust as I said you can adjust the start and the end so you could have the start to happen here look at this amazing backwards animation I don't know I think to be honest that this effect is much better than the one on the inspiration website so let's go back and let's adjust this to be 50 and this 50 and let's see what happens so our animation starts at the center of the page and it's a little bit too fast as you can see if you want that that's fine but it's just too fast so I'm going to keep it at 90. You can could adjust it to 80 maybe. Um, yeah. And let's switch this uh, scrub animation to 5. Let's see what happens. Nothing really that obvious but the animation is a little bit not as smooth right so the more you increase the scrubbing the the, the the smoother the animation gets also because always people ask me and i always forget if you want not to have the markers the start and end of the animation on the page those are for debugging purposes only to see where the animation starts where the animation ends always delete this or turn them to false yeah so say false and now you should not have them on the page as you can see we don't have them and our animation is free and clear so i'm going to keep it like that 
and if you want to turn it on just turn it to true all right so you can also as i said earlier you can change the easing here uh, i will have a link to gsap easings in the description below and you can just play around with them and also the stagger and you could also change these values here so more or less everything is changeable here just do not change this part all right so we have this css that needs to be added that's it and everything else styling you would do it the normal way you would do styling okay so let's just change the color to i don't know pink the elemental pink okay let's see how this looks very pink but also very cool let's change it to i have a cool red here well this is very red but also very cool let's see how the blur looks look at that i think it's pretty cool so no matter what you choose um i think it's going to look good even white on black will look good so yeah this is what it is and i have experimented with this i have not tested the mobile version but there's no reason for this not to work you just need to adjust the the font size of the heading and you should be good if not i would recommend always to try to input the code that i give you into chat gpt and see if you can make it work with media queries or whatever chat gpt recommends usually it's media queries they have their own media queries in gsap so you should be good so try to take whatever i give you and take it to the next level i hope you enjoyed this and you like it and let me know if you used it and how you used it and all that if you'd like to see what else you can build with elementor watch this playlist here or here and if you have gotten any value out of this video please consider subscribing liking and sharing this video and i'll see you next time bye